Hey there, it dropped down to 70s today, which is awesome. Uh, just trying to do a few things in a garden before I am at the cross country meet tomorrow all day. So, have a good weekend. Again, huge male flowers and no female flowers on my pumpkins. I think I'm gonna have to grow part shade everything next year. I don't know if sun is the culprit. More cherries? May get pumpkins yet out of this. If you watched my seed saving video, these are the pods that you let dry. Um, and then you pick them off and that's where you get your seeds. But, I mean, morning glories only bloom for a day. So you get, you will have these all up to plant. And I'm probably gonna take half of this bed out next year because although we did get a lot of strawberries, they were a real pain with the slugs and the birds. And granted, we did have a lot of rain, um, but I just don't want to put, I just don't want strawberries taking up a whole bed when I can be growing something that's more fun and less effort. And it's mid-September in Georgia and I'm still getting cherry tomatoes. Let's see, if you hang in there, um, and plant a succession of tomatoes, I mean, your plants, as the other ones die, new ones will start producing again because we have a long season. I have a bunch right here, see? That's my pepper plant that the um, tomato worm annihilated. It's actually looking pretty good. This is like perfect weather for peppers right now. This is my first year at planting Brussels sprouts. You do not harvest them until January. So this should be interesting. These are all plants that I'm going to give a friend that I have a surplus of. It just shows you, you don't have to spend a lot of money. There's plenty of gardeners around you. Strawberries, lilies, canna lilies, and irises, which will make a beautiful garden in the spring. 